Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and here we are with a fall look. So first I'm going in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and I am priming that all over the lid. Next I'm going in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate B Punk. This was sadly discontinued, but if you could still find it hanging around on eBay, you should think about getting it, because it is gorgeous. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Blink Electric Eyes Palette. First, I'm going in with Autuni, and I'm using some MAC Fix Plus to intensify it, and I'm going all over the lid for a deep, dark fall look. Next, I am taking my little mixture of Sable from the Lorac Pro and my Physician's Formula Canning Classics Quad, and just popping that into the crease. And then I'm taking the shade Or Pime, and I'm using that for my inner corner highlight. Then my Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, I'm taking the white shade Heaven, and I'm just blending out my crease and, you know, highlighting that brow bone. Next, I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalized Pencil in black, and just using that on my upper lash line. Next, I will be following that with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which, after my first impression, which I didn't really care for it, if I use it for one coat at a time, it actually does look really nice, and I'm just, you know, applying that to the lashes. Next, I'm filling in my eyebrows. I'm using that same mixture of Sable and the Canyon Classics Quad, and just popping that into my brows. We'll be following that up with some Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel after I do some quick cleanup. As I continue to sing to myself. Next, the face. We are going in with my YSL Touche Clap Blur Perfector to fill in the pores on my T-zone, of which I have many pores. Pores, pores, pores. Make them go away. And then I'm going in with my Milani Priming Shield Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Face Primer to use it up. Honestly, I don't like this primer. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my TS, or Trouble Solution, Miracle Matte Cushion Foundation with my new Eco Tools Makeup Sponge. And I'm putting that all over my face. As you can see, my one, one of my honest complaints about this foundation, despite me loving it, is that the undertone is a little grayish for my liking but I do really like the foundation itself I've done a review on this if you would like to look it up now this is my last usage of it as you're going to see I have actually pulled the sponge out to pat on my face this is only what I do for like the last usage to get that last little bit out because cushion foundations are very expensive especially this one which is like $45 <laughs> I was sent this for review but I still want to get all of my worth out of it Next, I'm going in with the NYX HD Concealer in Green and just concealing that last little bit of redness that I do get in my cheeks. And then I'm going to be using my Tarte Maracujula Creaseless Concealer under my eyes. I think my shade is fairly light neutral. Next, we are going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. I'm using the highlighting shade with, you know, I'm using that under my eyes to set my concealer. And then I'm going back in with the maroon shade, whose name I cannot remember right now. And I'm just lining my lower lash line. Altuni, that's what it's called. Next, I'm using my Maybelline Blush Stick in Marvelous, I think. Mauve me. Something mauve. And I'm just patting that on my cheeks. I go a little heavy on one cheek. And what I do is I just go back in with the foundation side of my sponge. And it helps a lot. Next, I'm using something new to me. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. 
in the shade Fair Neutral. God, that's a long name. This is actually a powder foundation, but I like it for the coverage, so I've just been using it as a regular powder. Let's see, next I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals and just highlighting the high points of my face with that lightly because this is a little dark for me. Going in with that contouring palette again and just laying down my contour. I promise, as always, I will go back and blend it out. I actually realized here that I forgot my Kabuki brush, so I'm having to just really fake it very, very hard with a lot of powder on this highlighting brush. It does not work as well as it could, <laughs> I will be perfectly honest. But sometimes you just gotta roll with what you got. Anyways, next I'm going in with my Physician's Formula Muru, Muru Butter Bronzer. Why did I put the full name? I'm just, you know, bronzing up my face, my neck, apparently my chest, even though you can't see it. And finally, I'm wiping off my lip balm and I'm going in with the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip in Dahlia. And here we have it, folks. A nice, dramatic fall look for you right here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!